so finally the lost video has surfaced i know for a fact this video went for hours um longer than what it appears on this video where they're doing the tn tnj q a live 10 per question transparent answers no cap send donation and they have the um cash app for you to send the donations this went on for hours um when i went back to record it it said video was unavailable so we uh process of elimination we can just assume that they edited out some offensive things that probably would have came up offensive to the community um but they sure enough was doing a money grab and um i'm assuming it was to get to florida so that they could uh, reunite with jaguar rights mother i think jaguar rights first plan even for before della delphia tv is to get a hold of her mother and hopefully bring her back to where she's going to be at so that she will have a support system alongside with tj just in case it doesn't work out but i'm having a 5 p.m live today so i'm letting you guys know that in advance and we're gonna squeeze in some time for you to hear some of what people were supposed to pay ten dollars for to get the answers for and again this live stream went on for hours and um you know jaguar right got a little beside herself and tj you know you could tell she was like please let's not let this blow out of control but there were a lot of people that were not being respectful and i think that they didn't respect that you know jaguar right she just got out okay granted she's struggling but she does have a girlfriend who does have an income. Live off that income. Don't come back into the community that you've been disrespecting or lying to and try to get funds from them. And then to, you know, add assault to injury, you're asking people to pay $10 per question. You're not even singing. You're just to ask a question. See, these people that affiliate themselves with nature boy one way or another they think they're entitled this is the reason for me speaking out about this and this is why i'm going to let you guys listen today to some of what was said in this q a we're going to do a live commentary to it because it's, it's ridiculous and it's so sad that tj is uh influenced so early on in the relationship that's how um i you know that's why i feel there's going to be a disaster happening um, shortly after this relationship is about maybe four to five months in. I'm going to try to give them the benefit of the doubt that they'll be still on good terms um, for the next at least three days, 90 days before, you know, Jaguar right turns into a demon. I think that if she does get her wish and that's to reunite with her mother, if she is able to convince her mother to let her be the payee and her um you know caretaker jaguar right is going to turn back into a spoiled brat and the things that she's probably holding back now because she needs the public she will no longer be doing that because she doesn't need anyone um and it's going to blow out of proportion but the sad thing about it is uh, she might end up back in jail or in a mental institution. Not that I'm wishing that, but these are the possibilities because of the pattern of behavior that we have seen displayed in the past. And her mother's going to be left stranded and starting back, you know, square one where she left off at. Because I don't believe that if this was to happen to Jaguar again and her mother had no one to care for her, her family would be upset with the mother, but she is the matriarch of the family. And respectfully, they put her back in a stable situation. There's no way that they would be mad and throw their hands up and say, we're not going to help you. She's elderly. She took care of them. And they know the mastermind behind how this self-destruction could have happened. So, you know, yes, I'm talking uh, foreseeing the future, but the way Jaguar Wright is having meltdowns and 
TJ is kind of sort of giving her that look, or she's, I, I'm really getting this impression that Jaguar Wright kind of checks herself and reminds herself, you know, TJ's not on the same um, frequency as me. So I don't want to scare her away right now. So for the best interest of myself, I'm going to play it cool, calm, and collective. And I'm going to make TJ think that everything we're doing is for us. Not knowing this is what Jaguar Wright was doing prior to getting locked up. If you continue to do the same toxic behaviors time after time after time, you're going to get the same toxic results time after time after time. There has really not been much that has changed of Jaguar. She does exactly what she does every time she gets out. She's cool for a little while. Maybe this time she's a little cooler than normal. Usually she she flies off the handle uh, sooner. But, you know, she's brewing. You know, and we know that when that top pops off and she's the, the Jaguar, right, we know it's nothing but self-destruction from there, exposing um, the pillow talk and trying to just be a demon. And only once she's really self-destruction at the end is herself because who ends up in jail or in a psych ward? It's always Jaguar, right? So I hope that she learns um, from her past and I hope she shows us different. I hope she shows me different. And she makes something out of whatever she has in her little head that she's trying to do so she can get out this current situation, get herself stable, and maybe get back into singing if that is a passion for her. I know a lot of people have been talking about she should get into singing and X, you know, Y and Z. But um, if that's not where her heart's at anymore, because it may be things that she has done in the industry, then maybe it isn't for her to go back singing. She did expose a lot of people in the industry, and uh, it might not be a, a safe bet for her to be in that environment amongst a lot of people she has, you know, that she has exposed because she could be, you know, unalive, just being that bold to be in that industry again, knowing of the people that she ratted out. So we just got to sit back and see how it plays out. And again, I will be doing a live today, and I'm going to play a portion of the, uh, you know, the bagging, the bag you know, the money grab video that disappeared that I believe that they edited out certain parts and put back up, you know, we're going to um, check out what they were talking about and decipher was it worth $10 per question. 